It's December 2021. Peeking through the window of your poorly lit man cave, you stare aimlessly at the falling white cold piling up on your lawn. A few feet behind you, a monitor beams bright, the shape of a man at its center. It's your level 60 warrior. Standing tall and proud, your character wields a might of menethil and casually dons a full set of dreadnought armor. You finally achieved your childhood dreams. Now what? It's a scenario we've all run through our heads a thousand times. After all, vanilla has ended once before. And the more time we spend thinking about this inevitability, the more our imaginations run wild. So although I've never been a fan of putting the cart before the horse, I do think it's justified to ask the dreaded question on many of our minds. What happens to classic WoW when Nex Ramus, the final raid in vanilla World of Warcraft, is on farm? Possibility number one, the Burning Crusade. Probably the most intuitive path forward. With Blizzard finally validating the business case of Classic WoW, it would make sense for the corporation to capitalize on Classic's success by re-releasing its spiritual successor. And seeing as a large portion of the Classic community is just as fond of TBC as they are vanilla, I think it's safe to assume the majority of Classic players would love to continue their Warcraft journey into Outlands. Development costs of the venture would be relatively low, all things considered, and Blizzard could use TBC Realms as another incentive for Classic fans to purchase modern WoW expansions. The whole idea is pretty risk-averse and financially prudent. But believe it or not, TBC is not the only path forward for Blizzard. There are a few other scenarios that I could see taking place post nax with one scenario gaining momentum within the community in these past few months. This scenario is called Patch 1.13. Possibility number two, patch 1.13. While TBC servers seem like the intuitive go-to post Nax, I've been noticing that the patch 113 movement has been gaining steam online. Rather than progress into World of Warcraft's first expansion, some players are requesting that Classic WoW continue beyond the Necropolis with additional level 60 content in what has been colloquially referred to as patch 113. In this patch and beyond, Blizzard would release content that was originally intended for vanilla but never had a chance to fully develop prior to the Burning Crusade. Some examples of this unfinished content are the Emerald Dream, the Dragon Isles, and the Karazhan Crypts. Developing this content would allow players to continue progressing in the vanilla world pre-Outlands but with new content to keep the experience fresh. I've got to be honest, when I was first making this video, I thought this idea was a bit outlandish, no pun intended. After all, I'm no changes, but even on the business side of things, investing millions of dollars into development of an unproven concept when you have a fully developed, surefire hit available in the pipeline is the opposite of prudent. But then I remembered a sad yet important reality in today's world, real money transactions and DLC. Back in 2004, DLC was not as nearly common as it is today. Games as a service wasn't as viable a business model as the internet was still in its infancy. But in today's world, why wouldn't a corporation, especially Activision Blizzard, who made a whopping 60% of their revenue from microtransactions last quarter, pursue a DLC option before advancing to the next expansion? Patch 1.13, 1.14, and 1.15 could all be separate DLC packs, each costing $30 to $40, and could prolong user subscriptions for the next expansion's release. It's a cynical thought, but in today's world, it wouldn't really surprise me. I'm not a fan of DLC or any form of in-game transaction in a subscription-based game. So let's hope things don't come to this. After all, there are still other routes that Blizzard can take. Possibility number three, fresh or seasonal servers. If you've been observing the phenomenon of unofficial realms, you may have noticed a recent trend in player preference. The willingness of players to abandon high-level characters on long-established realms in lieu of a fresh server experience. I've noticed this trend catching fire in the past 18 months or so, with private servers rising to meet the demand. It's somewhat counterintuitive, the idea of spending hundreds of hours leveling to 60 and gearing up, only to start all over again on a different server. Yet there is something to be said about the fresh server experience. The feeling of rushing through the starting zones, trying to get ahead of the pack, and the fact that you start on the same level as everyone else is enticing. Maybe the future of Classic WoW is simply more Classic WoW, with new servers released periodically to reinvigorate players looking for a fresh experience. This scenario might seem unlikely, but logistically speaking, it's actually the easiest. No development costs would be required, the community would remain unsplit, 
and Blizzard wouldn't have to worry about supporting two versions of Classic alongside the modern game. I'd call it the Lazy Boy route if it weren't for possibility number four. Possibility number four, nothing. Classic WoW stays as is. In the unlikely event that Classic WoW flops and J. Allen Brack was right all along, You think you do, but you don't. It's probable that Classic Vanilla is all we'll get. That means a permanent patch 112.2, the last patch of vanilla where full tier 3 could become as ubiquitous as this dumb meme. And as somebody who's wanted classic realms since Wrath, I'm totally okay with that. Sure, I would love to venture onwards into the Burning Crusade, an expansion I didn't get to play much back in the day, but it's really always been about vanilla for me, even if it means a stagnant 112.2 realm. If you're worried that option number 4 means that Blizzard could shut down the servers and abandon the project entirely, don't be. During an interview with PC Gamer at BlizzCon, J. Allen Brack stated the following. I think there will be a lot of tourists, but it doesn't matter what I think, because once we're committed to doing this at a Blizzard level, which we are, whatever happens is going to happen. If millions of people show up and play for years, that's awesome. And if just tens of people show up and play for years, we're fine either way. What's important to us is that we have this classic experience people can enjoy, that people do have the opportunity to go back to. From this statement, I think Blizzard's commitment to the longevity of Classic is clear, so regardless of how the game performs, I don't think you need to be worried about having your progress wiped. So with all these possibilities available post next Ramus, which one do I think is the most likely? Well, first and foremost, I do believe that Classic WoW will be a resounding success, possibly even more so than the original vanilla game. So that takes option four off the table. Additionally, I believe such success warrants more investment into classic servers, and the byproduct of this investment would be some kind of post 112.2 content, eliminating option 3 as well. Now, I do want to note that option 3, periodic fresh servers, is not mutually exclusive to developing TBC servers or patch 113, so it's entirely possible we see option 3 continue in parallel to options 1 or 2. Which brings us to the final showdown. If Classic WoW is successful, Will Blizzard transition into the Burning Crusade and possibly Wrath of the Lich King, or will Blizzard choose to develop 113 content and beyond for the original classic game? If you go back and read the post-BlizzCon interview transcripts, I think the answer is pretty clear. Sure, patch 113 content could be sold as DLC, could prolong subscriptions, and could satisfy vanilla loyalists with unexplored content. But at what cost? millions of dollars in development for starters, not to mention extensive testing and quality control. Marketing expenses could pile up as well to promote the new content, and perhaps most importantly, there's always the risk of upsetting the core vanilla audience Blizzard sought to recapture in the first place. Sure, Blizzard could make a decent amount of money off of post-112.2 DLC packs if they wanted, but that's assuming everything goes well, which, as we know in games development, is seldom the case. That's why, in my opinion, if Classic WoW does succeed, the surest way forward is to release Burning Crusade servers while giving vanilla fans the option of maintaining their characters on the original realms or copying characters over to the new TBC realms. Additionally, as I've stated before, fresh vanilla realms could be rolled out sporadically in parallel to satisfy the demand of the fresh server experience. Financially and logistically, this option makes the most sense. But what do you guys think? Do you think Blizzard will take the Burning Crusade route, the Patch 113 route, or perhaps another route entirely? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments. And of course, for more Classic WoW news, content, and discussion, join our Discord community linked in the description below. We're barely two days old and we've already hit 150 members, so if you want to join our rapid growing community, just go ahead and click on the invite link in the description and we'll chill. Enjoy the rest of your day, fellas. And as always, tips out, baby!